Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're diving into one of those little mysteries that a lot of people don't think about, but once you notice it, you can't unsee it. Have you ever taken a look at brand new tires and wondered why they have these colorful stripes running along the tread? They seem random, right? It's almost like a tire company decided to throw in some decoration for fun. Well, those colored lines actually have a purpose. They're not just there for aesthetics. Let's take a closer look at what these colored lines are, whether they have any specific color coding meaning and why they matter. All right, so the first time you see these stripes, maybe you're just picking up some new tires or you see them on display at a shop. These colorful lines can be blue, yellow, pink, red, or even green. They run right along the circumference of the tire on the tread that actually touches the road. It's easy to think they're just part of the packaging or some form of branding, but they actually serve a practical purpose during the manufacturing process. Now let's clear this up right away. Those lines don't stay there. The first time you drive on your tires, they'll start to wear away. So if you're worried about driving around with some psychedelic stripes on your car's tires, don't be. They won't last long. So, what are they really there for? The short answer is quality control and tracking. The longer answer? These lines are used by tire manufacturers to make the assembly and distribution process smoother. You see, tire production is a complex operation. And when you're working in a factory, with hundreds or even thousands of tires coming off the line every day, things can get confusing. The colored lines act as a visual cue for workers to keep track of the tire's specifications, ensuring the right type of tire goes to the right place. Think of it like when you're at a bakery and they put stickers on different loaves of bread. That sticker isn't for you, it's for the bakers and the salespeople, so they know which bread is which at a glance. Same idea here with tires. Okay, so now we know that the colored lines are used by manufacturers to help with quality control. But does the color itself have any specific meaning? Does a blue line mean something different from a yellow one? The answer to this is both yes and no. There's no universal color code that's standardized across all tire manufacturers. In other words, one company's blue line might not mean the same thing as another company's blue line. The colors can signify different things depending on the manufacturer, the type of tire, and the size. Sometimes, the color might indicate the tire's model, its size, or its destination, like which retailer or region it's being shipped to. For example, if a tire company produces several different tire models in the same factory, they might use different colored lines to distinguish between them or they might use certain colors to ensure that specific tires are sent to certain countries depending on regional regulations or customer orders. It's an efficient way to keep everything organized without needing to constantly check labels. So, while the colors themselves might not mean anything specific to us as consumers, they mean a lot to the people working in the factory. It's like a secret language between the tire makers. Another interesting use for these lines is during the tire's construction process. The colored stripes can help workers visually check whether the tire's tread is aligned properly. When a tire is being built, it's layered with several different components, rubber, steel belts, and so on. These need to be perfectly aligned to make sure the tire performs well and is safe to use. If those colorful lines run straight around the tire, that's a good sign that everything's lined up properly. So, in a way, these lines are part of a quality assurance check. If a line appears crooked or wobbly, that's an immediate signal that something might be off with the construction. That tire would get flagged for inspection or correction before it ever reaches the store or your car. 
At this point, you might be thinking, wait a minute, I've also seen colored dots on tires, not just stripes. What's the deal with those? Excellent observation. Those dots are also part of the tire's manufacturing process, but they serve a slightly different purpose. The dots, usually found on the sidewalls of tires, often indicate the tire's heaviest and lightest points. This helps when the tire is being balanced and mounted on a vehicle. The dots are used as a reference for aligning the tire with the valve stem of the wheel to ensure that the weight is distributed as evenly as possible. So, while the stripes run along the tread to help with alignment and identification, the dots are more about balancing the tire for optimal performance once it's on the car. If you're wondering what happens to these colored lines after you start driving, the answer is pretty simple. They wear off. Since they're just printed onto the surface of the tire, usually using water-based or heat transfer inks, they're not built to last. As soon as your tires hit the road, friction starts to wear away those lines. It usually only takes a few miles before they disappear completely. This is also why you never see these lines on used tires. They're only present when a tire is fresh off the production line, ready for sale. Here's the big takeaway. If you're buying tires and you see those colorful lines, you don't need to worry about them. They don't indicate anything you need to consider when choosing tires. They're just a part of how the tires are produced and tracked through the manufacturing process. The tire's real information, like size, speed rating, load index, and type, is all found on the sidewall, written in numbers and letters. However, it's cool to know what's going on behind the scenes, right? Next time you're shopping for tires or having new ones installed, you'll have this fun tidbit to share with your friends or even the mechanic. Those colorful lines might seem like a small, insignificant detail, but they're a crucial part of ensuring the right tires get to the right cars. In summary, the colored lines you see on brand new tires aren't just random decorations or branding gimmicks. They're actually important markers for tire manufacturers, helping with identification, quality control, and alignment during the production process. While the colors themselves don't follow a universal code, they serve as a visual tool for factory workers to keep track of different tire models, sizes, and destinations. So, the next time you see a brand new set of tires with those distinctive stripes, you'll know that they're not just there for looks. They're part of a complex system designed to keep tire production running smoothly and efficiently. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.